the other interesting thing, you know, when you're thinking about it, where else can I publish my blog content? Because, you know, pushing it through email, putting it on my site, that's great. But this is where it gets challenging is, okay, where else should I be putting my content? Where am I going to get the maximum amount of buys? Yeah, I mean, one, I think, is to what I mentioned earlier about taking that, you know, $3 cup of coffee and for one of your days or each time you blog, that's a great thing to post or a boost, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Boost it through social media, through... You know, put do a visual version of it, put it through Instagram, put it on Facebook with a little synopsis, drive them to the blog post. That's one way. By boosting it, you're going to get more reach, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, and I mean, if you really want to get technical on it, there's a really smart <clears throat> way to do it is you can kind of run it to just new people if you want it. You can say yep. people who have never visited my site, only run it to them. But, I mean, if I was to... A small business owner who was, you know, focused on running my business. I just wanted the most efficient, fastest way to do it. I would just take the three dollars and, you know, boost it in that area consistently. That would be my three dollar thing every time I put a blog up because it also allows me anybody that clicks through, I can then retarget. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, and I really like that. Gives me that kind of. St- stacking benefits of creating content and driving them to my website. So uh, just uh, another little question for you really, Kevin. Um, would it be benefit or would it and